Hey there, let's take a look at Microsoft Power Toys latest feature, Advanced Paste. The goal of this feature is to allow you to paste any content that you have on your clipboard in any format that you would like. And so let's take a look at some basic examples to start us off. Uh, here I have some XML, and what I want to do is paste it into my VS Code project directly as JSON. And so I can go ahead and do this. At first, I can hit Shift Windows Key V. And you can see that there are some options here and paste as JSON is an option for me. So what I would normally do is paste that in here, it'd come like this, but I can just hit paste as JSON and replace that. What you might have noticed is that there's also a describe what format you want. This is my favorite feature of advanced paste, which is pasting as custom. And so using OpenAI and online AI tools, we can describe the format that we would like this in. So just as a reminder, here's what we currently have on our clipboard, this JSON text. Uh, let's change that to uh, paste as markdown table, for example. And then from here, it's going to interpret this request using AI and paste it as a markdown table. What's cool is we can augment this and say, add a uh, column for weight, for example, and it will add that for us intelligently. And we can even use the power of ChatGPT to fill in some of this information, like fill in values for weight. Uh, and this will, it's the same as asking this question to ChatGPT to grab some of this information and adjust the format of your content as you like it. So let's take a look at a little bit of a more harder example. Here we have some emails and you notice that the human names are pretty well uh, structured, but some of the animals names have snuck in and uh, they have different formatting that isn't correct. Well, let's go ahead and copy this and paste and say, remove incorrect emails. And from here, it's interpreted this and it's only pasted the correct emails. You notice that I even tried to trip it up here by adding a human name with an incorrect email at the end, but it fully caught it. So all of the false emails have been removed. And last but not least, let's take a look at a developer focused example. So here I'm running a bash inside of the Windows subsystem for Linux, and I've timed how long it takes to run some different commands, which outputs at the end the time taken here. I wanna take all of this and convert it into a CSV file. Obviously when I paste this, it looks quite messy. I can use advanced paste to summarize and paste this into the exact format I would like. So I'd say output as CSV file, uh, first column is command and second column is total time taken in seconds. From here, it will read and understand all of that text and then output that content. And so you can see here, Python 3.308 seconds being shown right here. And so if you wanna get started with this today, all you need to do is go to the Microsoft Store and grab the latest version of Microsoft Power Toys. Once you have that installed, uh, go and open up the Power Toys settings and you can uh, find advanced paste here uh, click on that and you can click this enable with AI button. You're going to need an open AI key and some available credits inside of there. And then you'll be able to use this paste to custom feature. We also include other paste as functions that are running locally, such as paste as plain text. And you can set a direct hotkey for that paste as markdown or paste as JSON that I showed before. But that's not all. We also want to show you some coming soon features for this using a debug build. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my dev box. And from here, you can see that I'm in Visual Studio. We're going to run a debug build of a publicly available branch um, that will show you that there are new features coming to Advanced Paste very soon. Uh, so some of these new features include new ways to interact with it, uh, such as audio to text. So you'll be able to take an audio file and paste that directly to text, pasting to files and pasting image to text. So extracting the image or the text from an image and pasting that. My favorite features of this is ability to chain commands. So let's go ahead and take a look at, I'm gonna take a uh, screenshot of this text and then I'm going to run advanced paste. So normally I would just hit shift windows key and V to open this up. And I'm going to use custom information to uh, specify what I wanna do. So I'm gonna say extract the text from this image, uh, convert it to Python and save it as a file. And so what it's going to do is use a mix of local AI to extract that text and online AI to coordinate everything and also to, um, to do that custom conversion to Python. And then at the end of the day, I can just hit paste and I get that content that I had 
pasted directly as a file containing um, that content from that image as text. So we hope you find this interesting and are excited for some of the features coming soon. There's going to be a link in the description below of how you can get started with actually running this um, as a debug build. And otherwise, you can sit tight and wait for some of these features to come to PowerToy Stable. So thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.